What's up everybody? I have been a minute since I made a video. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up on what I've been working on. Um, I think in the last video I was talking about how I was really struggling to get back into a consistent workout pattern. It was getting a little better, but it was still a struggle. Um, unless I came home from work immediately and worked out and I didn't have any other distractions such as needing to help with my grandchildren or um, you know things that needed to be handled for the family or whatever like I would you know come home and work out but there's always seemed to be something that needed to get done that was you know precedence like has to happen like right now and so I finally I have a girlfriend a close friend that gets up every single morning and works out with clients at 5 a.m. and she looks amazing and it was really like getting to me like you know I have that ability too but I've been trying for years to make working out first thing in the morning a priority and to no avail um, I went through periods of time where I would stop hitting the snooze button and I would get up and I would at least have a few minutes of me time before I had to get ready or I would prioritize other things and I am happy to tell you that for the last two weeks, well tomorrow will be day 14, I have gotten up at 4.30 every morning except for the morning I had to bake at work and I actually got up at 1.30 in the morning because I refused to drop off the habit. I was watching this thing that John Asaraf said, unless you can commit to 100 days of doing something nonstop. Don't skip, not one day for a hundred days trying to make something a habit. Don't even try. The old adage that it takes 21 days to make a habit, there's some merit to that, but they're actually finding research that says it takes more like 67 days to cement a habit. And John Asaraf is saying that it might take even longer than that, especially if you have roots that go down deep enough that go against the habit that you're trying to form. So I have started and I'm happy to say, like I said, tomorrow will be day 14 of getting up every morning at 4.30 a.m. Um, I spend 30 minutes working out, hitting all the key areas that I want to hit. Um, and it's all uh, lifting. Um, I recently had a shoulder injury, so I'm, I'm just doing like banded workout. I'm not doing a lot of heavy lifting with my arms, but um, I'm doing everything that I can do. And trust me, I feel it. Uh, and then I go upstairs and I take a shower and I finish with three minutes of cold water, cold shower. Yeah. That has, does a lot for your hormones and anti-aging and oh my gosh, you guys, you want to wake up like, and then I have my coffee after that. I mean, I, but I'm fully awake, but I, I mean, I'm a Seattle girl, so I'm kind of addicted to coffee. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I, I love coffee. It, the smell of it in the morning. It's just a thing. Um. I mean, if you were to ask me what I liked more, chocolate or coffee, there'd be kind of a war, like, mm, not really sure. <laughs> They're both kind of high on the priority list. So anyway, so I get up, I work out at 4.30 in the morning. I'm listening to um, usually a Joyce sermon, do that, go take my shower, finish with three minutes of cold water. Uh, ben Greenfield explains the science on that, um, that it needs to be three minutes to really get the benefits of the hormones, the anti-aging, the energy, all the things that you want to happen from cold water. It needs to be three minutes of exposure. So I do that and I'm actually going to work up to five. Right now I'm just cementing in these habits. Um, and then I have my, I get my coffee. I head out onto the patio with my affirmations, my scriptures that I'm learning. And I just have my quiet time with God. And I tell you what, you guys, this has been the one single thing that I think, other than learning to change my eating habits, has been huge. I mean, starting the day out with all of that, everything, my needs all taken care of for the day. Like, I don't have to, like worry like am I going to be able to get to my workout today am I 
you know, am I going to get sidetracked by a phone call and, you know, some urgent need that needs to be handled or, you know, I mean, just being a human being, getting sidetracked by TikTok or whatever, like, no, it doesn't happen. I, I get it in. It's, I actually go to sleep in my workout clothes and I mean, my workout clothes aren't elaborate. I mean, it's a pair of sweatpants and like a sports bra, you know, I get up, I hit the, I stop my alarm, I grab my phone, I go straight to the basement, and I start doing my workout, and it feels amazing. I cannot lie. I was actually listening to Stephen Covey talk about on the seven habits of highly effective people. He actually mentioned that in his uh, teaching was, hey, you know, if you're keeping your promises to yourself, um, you, you're, work, you're operating on a whole nother level, right? So, you guys, I'm like seriously excited about this. I was actually kind of afraid to talk about it too soon because you get that momentum going and it's almost like you talk about it and then, ooh, you sound like a badass and you're kind of like, oh, you know, but no, 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 no. This, this habit, 100 days, I am committed to it. Um, and I proved that to myself when I had to be at work at four o'clock in the morning that one day and bake. And I said, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to fight through this. And I got up at 1.30 in the morning and I, I did my routine and it was kind of rough. I ain't going to lie. Like I stood there in front of the, the basement door for a minute thinking, oh my gosh, am I really going to do this? And I did used to, I would also like, oh, you know, I can't work out in the morning because I'm not going to get enough sleep. And I know that weight loss happens when we sleep and sleep is really important and, you know, prioritize sleep over whatever. I still agree with that. And I know that sleep is important, but I also know that cementing in a habit, the sleep portion will take care of itself. I will reach a point of exhaustion and I will just be like, you know what? I've got to sleep. I've already had that happen a couple of times just because I, I, I just got to the point where, you know, I'm starting to realize like how much I prioritize everyone else over myself. Um, everybody else's problems, everybody else's issues. Like I'm starting to kind of see even more than before how I constantly like put myself on the back burner and I thought I was doing a lot better, which I really am. But you know, if I'm, if I need sleep, but yet I'm choosing to stay up for whatever reason, um, I think eventually the habits are just going to start coming. And it also helps too, that my husband got a promotion and he will actually be getting off work at a decent time every day, which will really help with our circadian rhythm and getting into a same sleep cycle. That way I'm not having to wake up halfway through my sleep and get up so that I can spend a few minutes with him uh, for the day. You know, it, that gets really frustrating and old. So I'm really excited and happy about that. I was so happy when he told me, you know, that he had gotten that and, you know, that that was going to be a thing now. So really grateful. And I just want you guys to know that, um, I'm working on it. I'm working on things. I'm still trying to get my life together. You know, when something doesn't work, troubleshoot and try again. Never, ever, ever give up. So, peace out, everybody. Love and peace.